Hey guys, do you battle with stressful thoughts rummaging around your brain or do you just tend to find yourself overthinking a lot? I'm sure many of us do different times in our life. I found myself a little bit like this today actually. It's only about five o'clock but today um, I found myself just overthinking. A lot of thoughts going through my mind, planning, organizing, a lot of things coming in from left field. And usually I find myself, it's not a big thing that troubles me, but lots and lots of little things and I'm organizing and planning and don't want to let people down and, and all this kind of stuff. And I find myself walking up to the school today, this is what I was thinking. And I thought there, and then all of a sudden, as you'll know here, there's a remedy coming. There's a remedy for being overthinking and stressful thoughts. Is overthinking the problem? Not necessarily. I think it's what you're thinking about or what you're maybe not thinking about. This scripture then came into my head that I think can really, really help us if we are inclined to have a lot of stressful thoughts or overthink. Colossians 3.16 came into my mind. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. God's word, the word of Christ as in scripture, it says let it dwell in you richly. And I love this version. I have this Greek amplified version. It says in Colossians 3.16, it actually says that, that the word spoken by Christ have its home in your hearts and minds and dwell in you in all its richness. So let it have its home in you. Or the other verses, let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. This, this, that's what came into my head today when I had all these thoughts and I started thinking about other days when I, I wasn't having all those thoughts. And I thought those days were more likely to have the word of Christ dwell in me richly. And that's what I needed to do today. And I thought, well, what does that look like to have the word of Christ dwelling in you richly? And I thought, well, have you ever had something dwell in you richly in abundance? I thought, what about times when you get excited about something? When I was first got a chance to go to a Liverpool match, or I first got the opportunity, I actually remember the gym. I loved training in the gym. When I first got to go, when I, I was trying to sneak in when I shouldn't have done underage. And the things in my life, I got, you know things you get really, really excited about? And it's, it, it's dwelling in you richly. Why? You're thinking about it a lot. It's going through your mind a lot, this one specific thing. This often helps me actually, when I'm thinking about lots of things, to just concentrate on one thing is actually really beneficial. Even if it's another job, my physio role, it really, really helps me. So thinking about one thing, in this case, thinking about the words that Christ used, thinking about those words, letting those words dwell in you richly. I really feel that this will help us so much to just dwell in Christ's words, to have it rummaging around our mind. And here's one of the words that came to my mind earlier was the idea of meditating. Just meditating, being still and letting that word dwell in us richly. I really believe this is an antidote, a massive help to any of us who are consumed with stressful thoughts, overthinking, then follow what the scripture says. And again, it means reading Christ's words. It means then marking and coloring in the ones that you want to remember and use for those specific occasions. So hopefully that's helped us. Let me know your thoughts.